Hello and welcome back to another episode of Crypto Unplugged, where we dive deep into the world of cryptocurrency and everything happening in the blockchain space. I'm your host, Senzi, and today, we've got a fascinating topic on the table, Central Bank Digital Currencies, or CBDCs. To help break this down, I've got Kandra here with me, a local business owner and fertilizer dealer who's been watching the crypto space closely. Welcome, Kendra. Thanks for having me, Senzi. Excited to be here and talk about this game-changing topic. Absolutely. CBDCs are making headlines all over the world. For our listeners who are just tuning in, can you explain what exactly CBDCs are? Of course. In simple terms, CBDCs are digital versions of a country's official currency like the digital dollar or digital euro. Unlike cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, CBDCs are issued and controlled by central banks, meaning they're fully regulated and backed by governments. Essentially, they aim to bring the efficiency and innovation of digital currency to the mainstream financial system. That's right. It's like getting the benefits of crypto but with the stability and regulation of traditional fiat money. Now, I'm curious, Kendra, as someone who deals with local businesses, how do you see CBDCs impacting everyday transactions? Well, Sensi, I think it's going to completely reshape how we do business. Right now, I deal with a lot of rural farmers who often rely on cash payments. But CBDCs could offer them easy access to digital payments directly through their phones without needing a bank account. This could drastically improve financial inclusion, especially in underbanked areas. That's a great point. We hear a lot about how CBDCs could help bring more people into the financial system. But some people are worried that it gives governments more control over our money. What's your take on that? Yeah, I get that concern. The fear is that governments could use CBDCs to monitor every transaction, which raises privacy concerns. But on the flip side, having a traceable currency could help reduce things like tax evasion, fraud, and even corruption. It's really about finding a balance between innovation and protecting individual freedoms. Exactly. It's a fine line to walk. And some central banks are already testing CBDCs, right? Yeah, several countries have jumped on this. China is leading the way with their digital yuan, and countries like Sweden and the Bahamas are already running pilots. The US and Europe are also looking into CBDCs, so it's just a matter of time before we see wider adoption. It seems like CBDCs could change everything, but how do they affect cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum? Will they be competitors or complement each other? That's a good question. I think CBDCs and cryptocurrencies will exist side by side, at least in the near term. CBDCs will likely be used for everyday transactions, while crypto will still offer more decentralized and privacy-focused options. The real question is how governments will regulate crypto once CBDCs are fully launched. Right. Regulation is a big part of this conversation. With CBDCs, governments will likely have more control over monetary policy, but where does that leave decentralized currencies? That's the challenge. There's always going to be tension between centralized control and decentralization. But CBDCs could actually legitimize the digital currency space, making people more comfortable with using digital money overall, whether that's government-backed or decentralized like Bitcoin. It's definitely an exciting space to watch. Before we wrap up, Kendra, what's one thing you think our listeners should keep an eye on as CBDCs become more mainstream? I'd say watch how your country approaches privacy and data security with CBDC's adoption is coming, but the real question is how much control you'll have over your own transactions. Stay informed and be sure to understand how it could impact your financial freedom. Wise words. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Kendra, for joining me and breaking down the fascinating world of CBDCs. Thanks, Senzi. It was a pleasure. And to our listeners, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Crypto Unplugged. Don't forget to subscribe and stay updated with the latest in the world of cryptocurrency. Until next time, keep your wallets secure and your minds open.